A financial advice columnist is sharing her terrifying experience of falling victim to an elaborate phone scam. It ultimately led to her putting $50,000 in a shoebox and then handing it over to the scammers. Yeah, she has now gone viral after sharing her story with New York Magazine. She says it all started with a call she thought was from Amazon, but it was actually from crooks spinning an elaborate and fictional tale. Here's Out News reporter Lindsay Tuckman. It couldn't happen to me. Or maybe it could. That's the message Prospect Heights resident Charlotte Cowles is sharing after phone scam artists convinced her to give them tens of thousands of dollars. I thought that I would never fall for something like this. Cowles, um, a so columnist the for New York Magazine's The Cut, wrote this now viral article, the day I put $50,000 in a shoebox and handed it to a stranger. It unfolded very gradually uh, and incrementally over over five hours on the phone. Back in October, scammers called her, first pretending to be with Amazon, saying her account was compromised. She then got transferred to someone claiming to be with the Federal Trade Commission, telling her she was a victim of identity fraud. That led to a fake CIA agent saying a warrant was out for her arrest, and she had to withdraw $50,000 from her bank to protect her assets. Don't tell anyone. Everyone is a suspect, the phony agent told her. They're very good at targeting people, figuring out their one specific vulnerability. They had very intimate details about me, about my family members. They knew where I lived. They knew the last four digits of my social security number. They knew about my son. Um, and it was terrifying. According to the FTC, however, scammers posing as government agents is common. And Americans lost a total of $2.7 billion just last year to these kinds of hustles. The NYPD even sharing videos telling New Yorkers officials will not call to request money. Just hang up. Charlotte did file a police report. The scam still under investigation. Her hope, though, while she won't get the money back, is to prevent others from being swindled like her.